Yo, yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Felony. Today, we're back again with a full setup video for Webull Desktop App. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to navigate the platform along with the exact setup I use to trade on a daily basis, how to use it to maximize your time in terms of actual execution, along with make a smoother experience for your trading. First things first, I just wanna walk through how to navigate the actual platform real quick for those who may be unfamiliar. First things first, here we have the actual markets tab. This is going to be where you find all your news, your data, your movers, what's going on in the overall market. And this is a big reason of why I love Webull. I call it a one-stop shop, right? We have everything we need right in front of us. So I'm gonna make a, a few key notes here on what you can pay attention to um, on a daily basis to find stocks to trade, which I'll make a separate video on. But as of now, what we have in front of us, we have our top gainers, we have our top losers. We can go into options as well, look at top options, position increases, etc., etc. We have most active stocks, the highest volume, biggest changes. We also have stocks that are either at new highs, new lows. We have popular stocks that are trending in the overall market. You have available calendar here. You have a calendar as well in terms of economic data, which is very helpful. And this is why I love Webull. It's a, it's a one-stop shop. You can come here, you look at top gainers, top losers, economic data, earnings calendar. Everything is right here in front of you. We also have a heat map down here of sectors that are categorized for you. You can go through and look at what's hot, what's not. You can go look at different industries, so on and so forth. And this is the main page of Webull. Now, what I wanna talk about as well is they actually have a great charting platform for new traders. It's pretty automated, and that's gonna be the stock section, this little tab up here in the top left. If you click on that, it's gonna pull up a, uh, a screen that looks similar to this, right? Now, what you have here is, if you wanna have it set up like mine, right? What I have here is I have a chart, and then I have a watch list I put it next to each other. That way I can scan through these stocks as fast as possible, right? So alleviate some of the downtime of creating a watch list, looking for names to trade, et cetera, et cetera. What I like to do is come here and I like to sort by change. So I'll see what moved the most in terms of the downside and what moves the most in terms of the upside. Today was a very bloody day in the market, as you can see by this change. Not many stocks are green on my watch list, right? So what I can see here is I can see the ticker name. I can see the actual line chart of which it moved for today. I can see the volume. I can see the average volume for the past three months, the last trading price, and the percent change on the day. And then I have my nice beautiful chart over here, which I can look through these time frames as well, see what I like to trade, what I don't like to trade. And what I was talking about with Webull in terms of the automated feature, if you go to a daily chart on any any chart here or any ticker in terms of Webull, it's gonna make little key notes for you, right? It's gonna draw patterns for you. It's gonna show you key moving average crossovers, RSIs, et cetera, and so forth, right? And if you click on it, it'll go more in depth, right? So it'll show you when it happened, the closing price, the volume for that pattern, and you can go through here and sort, right? It'll show you what an inside bar is. It'll highlight it for you on the weekly time frame. It'll, and if you go down here to the bottom, this is very cool for new traders as well. If you go down here and click learn more, right? What it's gonna do is it's actually gonna enlighten you on what an inside bar is. So if you click that learn more, you're not gonna have to go to Google anymore. Webull does it for you. It's gonna show you the implication, description. It's going to show you absolutely everything right here in front of you. And this is why I love Webull. It's just a one-stop shop. It shows you criteria that supports the pattern, underlying behavior in terms of what to look for. Everything is here at your disposal. Inside bars, inverted hammers, hanging mans, tons of patterns with very in-depth breakdowns from implications, how to trade them and what to look for, right? So this is something you guys can utilize as well. And this is great for new traders. You can even go to technical indicators. They'll have all the indicators here for you that you may like to use, but that's a feature you can use on Webull as well. This is how I have my stocks platform set up. I usually use TradingView, but at the times I do use Webull, this is what I use. Now, let's get into the most important and the main topic of this video, my setup, right? What does my setup look like and how can you set yours up similar to maximize your time in terms of execution, right? So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to execution our custom tab here. It's gonna be a little paintbrush and it should bring up a million like this. If it does not, you can go up here in the top right corner and click this little plus button. Once you click that plus button, it's gonna bring up a menu like this. And what you're gonna do is click the blank layout. 
right? We're gonna have a blank screen for here for us to set up together, right? Now, this is my personal setup. Do you have to replicate it? You do not, right? You can add some stuff, you can remove some stuff. I'm a minimalist, right? I like to use the KISS method. Keep it stupid simple, right? So, I'm gonna kind of try to keep this video short and sweet. And we're gonna get right into it, right? Like I said, I mostly trade on TradingView, but in the case that I don't have my TradingView up, we can have a chart here, right? So we'll pull up a chart first, and I like to move this around so I can organize a little bit. Um, right now, I'm creating this layout on a 27-inch uh, monitor, right? And everybody's gonna be different. Um, if you have a smaller monitor, you're gonna have to adjust a little bit. If you have a bigger monitor, you're gonna have to adjust a little bit. But this is my setup, right? I'm gonna break down each and everything, how I use it, and how you can use it as well. So first things first, let's get us a little chart up here. That's important. Um, next, let's go ahead and get, if you like watching time and sales or level two, that's available for you here as well. Just make sure you're subscribed to real time data. Um, what we're going to need next, I'm mainly an options trader. So I'm going to get my turbo trader for options. Um, if you guys don't know how to use this, I just put out a wonderful, very in-depth video regarding how to set it up and actually use it. So go check that out. I'll be talking about it briefly as well in this video also. But these are the main two things we need right now. We can go and add the Turbo Trader as well, which is a smaller version of the Turbo Options Trader. Um, if you want to add your positions info, your account info, or your PL, whatever the case may be, you can add that as well. I like to use the price ladder, so I'm going to go ahead and add that also. So right now we have four things. We have a chart, Turbo Trader, Turbo Options Trader, and we have the ladder, right? If you want to add your orders and positions, you can do that as well. Um, I personally keep those on the side. And what I like to do with this is, so I'm gonna take my orders and I'm gonna put it inside of my positions. So essentially it's the same tab. I can just click back and forth here. That's what I like to do. Um, and we're pretty much good here for the trade section. Let's go over to stocks. Um, don't really need much here, but if you wanna use this to your advantage, you can. You can go look at order flow. You can look at news on the underlying, financial statements, press releases. You can look at the short interest, the ETF weighting in terms of QQ, SPY, or IWM. You can look at analyst ratings. You can look at comments from other traders, right? Um, you can use all that to your advantage as well. Now, what I need here is I do need a watch list and I'm gonna show you guys why this is important as well. Um, nothing else here we really need, but if you would like to create a screener, you can do that. They even have an option screener, right? You, if you wanna set up a beautiful clock here so you know what time it is, you can do that also. I actually like using the clock because sometimes I forget what time it is. Um, Market-wise, we don't really need much here, but if you would like to use something, you can. You have obviously net inflow, you have the index charts, you have the heat map. If you want to pull up a heat map, you can do that. You can get an overview on the market, see what's hot, what's not. You can even create a watch list and your watch list will be on the heat map. So you'll see what's hot on your watch list, what's not on your watch list. Very, very cool. You can even go down to look at the industries, so on and so forth. That's available for you as well. You can pull up the 52 week highs or lows. There's a lot of stuff here that you guys can use to your advantage. You can go look at all the ETFs as well. You can look at the Dow, you can look at industrials. There's a lot of stuff here that you can look for. That's literally right at your fingertips, right? I'm going to come out with a new uh, mobile video as well. That's going to be very soon, but let's get into the setup here, guys. So we have everything we need so far. We have our turbo trader, turbo options trader, chart, watch list, position, orders, ladder, and we have a beautiful clock here. Do we need a clock? Probably not, but I'm gonna keep it up here, right? Do I want it on 12 already? 12 out there we go. So let's organize this a little bit, right? I like to be as efficient as possible, right? As I stated in the beginning. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna rearrange some things, right? I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible for you guys. I don't wanna take up too much of your time, but I like to keep my chart over here. Like I said, I mostly use TradingView, but in the case I'm not using TradingView, I do like to use Webull. So I um, have my chart here in the top right corner. We can close this menu now. And next, I like to keep my positions easily available, right? So I can click on them. Um, my ladder, we're gonna move over here. My Turbo Options Trader, I like to have in the bottom left corner because I usually have TradingView on my next chart. So I'm gonna fix this. Can have this right here. I'm gonna fix this so I can see everything I need to see. Move this down a tad bit. I'm gonna turn off order confirmation so I don't get that notification. So that's good to go. And then we can move our watch list right next to this. Can move this down in half. I'm gonna go over to my daily watch list here so I can see everything I need to see. I can remove all this stuff here. Don't need to see any of that. Right, I can make this a little bit smaller. Percent change, I can hide this column. I know what that is. 
And if you would like to keep this stuff up, you're, you're more than welcome, right? This is just what I like doing personally. I like to keep the volume, average volume. So we're gonna close that. We can move this over, make this a little smaller. We don't need all this taking up all that room. I'm gonna show you guys what's most important here in a moment, okay? I mostly trade just SPY, QQQ, and SPX on this account. That's why I only have three here. But let's go ahead and get this set up. So I'm gonna put this over here, make this a little tad bit smaller, move this down. I can even move this down here. There we go, I can make this a little bigger. There we go. My positions and orders. Get that straightened out. Go here. Make these compact. There we go. Positions and orders. Get that set up. Put my little clock over here. Hopefully this isn't boring you guys. I just wanted to make a video through and through on my actual setup. I can put the ladder down here, just like that. I can move my chart up and over now that I got everything set up, right? I can move everything like that. And if you guys would like to, this is what I have set up on mine as well. Um, I'm just doing a quick setup here, guys. You can change things around if you would like, but this is how I have mine set up. Um, let's go back, oops, sorry about that. Let's go back to the widgets. I want to add account info. Yeah, that's what I usually have over here. So I'll have my account info over here. That way I can see everything. Let me see, here's my actual thing. So I need to replicate this. So you guys see what I had here, right? I don't wanna reorganize it, it's gonna take up too much time. So you guys see what I had, right? I have the Turbo Options Trader, Turbo Trader, Watch List, Positions and Orders, Ladder, Chart, and Account Details. This is what the final product looks like, right? So this is how I have everything set up. This is how I trade with it on a daily basis. Now, let me break down with exactly how to set up the syncing, right? So make sure that you are moving efficiently, right? So what you're going to want to do first and foremost is make sure that your chart is on one, your watch list is on one, and that is the most important. So these two need to be on one. The rest of them need to be on S, okay? So you want the rest of these to be on S. Chart and watch list are going to be on one. The rest are going to be on S. And I'm going to show you why right now. So when I click something on my watch list, everything's going to change, right? But I don't want everything to change when I click one because these are for my options, right? So if I want to trade something, what do I have to do? I just have to click the watch list. All the contracts will pull up on the options trader. And if you go watch my last video, I showed you how to set this up exactly to the T right? I have my filters set up for you guys in the last video. Everything's good to go for you, right? But when I click a stock on my watch list, it changes everything. So if I want to trade QQQ, I click on it. If I want to buy a call, I click on it. I'm ready to buy. If I want to buy a market and go down here, I can buy a market. If I want to sell it as, I can go down here and sell it as. If I want to buy at the bid, I can do that. I have all this available within one click, right? And I also have my turbo trigger over here. So what I like to do is sometimes I'll pull up the options chain. Let's say I want to get in even quicker. I can go to SPX, click the contract. When this highlights, I'm ready to go, right? So I can click QQQ, click the contract, highlights, I'm good to go. Click, buy, I'm in. Spy, click, buy, I'm in. Just like that, very easy, very simple, right? So this is the way that I have my Weeble set up. Didn't wanna make this video too long, it's fairly simple, but this is how I have it set up. If you guys would like to set yours up similar, Feel free to go ahead if you want to add things or remove things, that's fine as well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. I'll be more than happy to help. But this is how you can use Weeble to your advantage is how to maximize your time on Weeble. Um, last time I talked a little bit about the hotkeys, but they weren't showing up. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull this up for you guys as well. Your buy button, you can put a stop loss and take profit on. So when you click this buy button here, you can add a stop loss and a take profit order directly to that button. So when you click buy, you have a stop loss and take profit already attached. If you want just a stop loss, you can do that. If you want just to take profit, you can do that, right? Very, very cool. You can remove the positions, you can add the positions, you can do whatever you please in terms of those buttons, right? Same thing with your Turbo Trader over here. You can go create buttons. So if you go over here, we'll say YouTube video. I can go over here. I want to make sure that it's applied to options first and foremost. I want this to be the buy side. I'm gonna hit create. Right? I want it to be a single option. I want it to be a limit order. I want to buy at the ask. I want to buy 10 contracts. I want it to round down to the nearest price when I'm buying. And when I'm selling, I want it to round up to the nearest price to ensure I get the best fill possible. 
Same thing goes with the turbo option trader. You can do with the turbo trader. You can set a stop loss and take profit for each and every one of these hot keys. So if I click buy five, when I buy those five contracts, it'll have a stop loss and take profit implemented. This is the only platform in the world in terms of brokerages that allows that, right? And if you just want a stop loss attached, say for example, when you click this buy 10 button, guess what? You can only have a stop loss. If you only want to take profit, you can do that. And you can change it to whatever you want. You can change it to 100%, 200%, and you can even set a hot key for it. If I want this to be control V, I can do that. And what that means is once I create this button and I put it over here and I click control V, it's going to get me in that trade immediately without me clicking anything, right? So very, very cool here. This is how I have my Weeble set up. I hope this video was very, help very helpful for you guys. Um, next videos you can look for in terms of my YouTube, I'm going to be coming with trade recaps, more educational content, along with a day in the life of felony. What I do on a daily basis, everything from when I wake up to when I go to sleep in terms of a trading day. Let me show you guys what I do in the morning to pre prepare for the market. Me actually executing a live and a little vlog style video along with my charting at night, plus much more. Very excited, you guys. Going head first here into YouTube. I'm going to do my best to provide you guys with the best content possible. If you are enjoying these videos, be sure to hit that like button and do not forget to subscribe. Once we get to 10K subscribers, I'm going to do a 5K giveaway. I'm going to give away a mentorship along with a trading setup equivalent to the value of 5,000 US dollars. Hope you guys are having a great day and enjoyed this video. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.